Hello and welcome. Um, this channel is a tutorial based research channel um, showing you the methods I use to enhance these um, space photographs. Um, right, I did say to you on the last video I've got some crazy stuff coming up and this is a one of them. Um, I was, I use Pinterest quite a lot for um, reference and things. Um, and it came up, it was, um, let's just go and have a look, it's not this one, it was this one, sorry about the mess of this, I've just restarted about twice, <clears throat> I'll press pause button, so anyway, it's uh, Scott C. Waring, uh, UFO Sightings Daily, um, I think this was 2016 I did this, so um, I saw it and I thought, hmm, that looks very interesting. So here we go with the bits he's actually showing 70 kilometers wide, 400 kilometers long. I haven't done any research into actual scaling and stuff like that. Um, but it's pretty cool. So I thought I'd have a look. And um, yeah, when I was working on it, I worked on it for about four days and save the file which i've been more continually saving went back to it and uh, there was zero bytes it still had the title of the um file in it um but it was gone there was absolutely nothing so i have no idea what happened uh, you remember that one it's not a monkey i've had a look at it but um very interesting, you noted this stuff here, but anyway, let's get on with this. Um, so you click on the link here and it takes you to here. Um, Dilly Dart, there you go. If you want to download it, you can download it. Uh, d download the PDF. Here you go, it's the VIMS, it's the radar thing again. I think Venus was a, a radar as well, and I think Europa was as well, which we will be going back to because I only did half of the map on um, the Europa, and I remember the second half being much, much better. Right, so, this is how the map comes in, and um, if you can see my uh, cursor up here, I cropped it out. I cropped out the area that, that he featured and a bit more. Um, it's not bad quality. But you can see the pixelation and everything like that. So I mean, if you if you're if you're wanting to do this stuff, you need to be able to um, enlarge the image, the pixels basically. So. Let's go and have a look. So if you are new to this, um, uh, basically you're going to be unfamiliar with these sort of images. They're going to look blurry and strange. And you initially, you might not see anything. So you just need to give it time. Um, pausing <clears throat> and just taking the image. You know, let your eyes and brain get used to it because um, they're unfamiliar. Uh, images and uh, basically you're not supposed to be able to see this stuff and then they've done a lot of work on them to to hide this information but it's still in the image so let's start on the main area because i don't want to bore anyone um <clears throat> let's just get into it um to me the longer you look at this the crazier it is let's just start over here like we normally do so there's some bits i want to point out here and we'll go have a quick look at um another titan um vid that i did and i was trying to explain that the that some of these lines in the other video that i did <clears throat> look they're blanked out. They looked as though they're raised on the ground and there's various 
structures and stuff uh, running into them, under them, um, and stuff like that. So we'll have a quick look at that. Um, we'll just go and check the videos out. Okay, so like I say, you will probably need to pause this. Um, now the areas which are nearly finished and a lot of areas which aren't finished but I mean the problem with this I mean, is like I've explained before um, you use the same methods but you might have to do them in slightly different orders or, or multiple multiple times over it to um, you use the tools which I'll show you in a bit um, to compress the the various tones down here shadows and tones highlights anyway okay so I will try and point some stuff out to get you started now for those of you who are familiar with this I will be doing this a lot bigger stuff obviously because of different devices and things like that um, it may work on a phone you know I'm trying to imagine this on a it's difficult so the larger the screen you're viewing it on the better so initially um, you'll start noticing there's lots of angle things and stuff like that but it's very familiar with um, sort of like it's like the terracing um type sort of sort of uh thing going on really not with it at the moment so you must excuse me so you can see i will start i'll do a few things on it because it's sort of like at the stage where if, if i I would say I've been over this about six or seven times already. This is why it takes so long. But if I just start working on some of this stuff and brighten these areas up, and the reason I do this is because it helps you focus on what I'm doing, what I'm seeing. And if you can see it appearing, then... Um, well, you will. It will make more sense to you. So to me, these areas look like they're layered. So the black areas are shadows. So there's an element of three dimensions to these uh, pictures, but it might be hard for you to work out initially. So we'll just go straight across the top. Now, as with all these images that we found, that the there are various parts of the image which are um, more blurred than other parts of the image, meaning that you can get more details out of different areas. Um, so you can see here, it's a very unusual looking stuff so as we move along you'll start noticing that they look very machine like or structural but they are massive so but that aspect of things is very difficult to um, the scaling is difficult to get your head around um, So, just take in what you can see. But to me, and with the amount of stuff that I've done, and the familiarity of this with everything else that we've been looking at is, is the same. I'll probably say that in every video. So... 
you have to consider that there are tops of things you can see the sides you can see shadows you can see stuff underneath stuff in the shadows so for example here we can see this but you can see stuff underneath it it's darker so it's, it's, it's in there, it's going back inside this. You can see those two things there. All this across here. I'll be doing some, um, what do we call it, zooming in and out, various sizes quite quickly, um, like I say, just pause it, uh, there's a lot to get through here, so do excuse me if I'm a bit vague. So you can sort of see the layout here. Just follow the lines. So you can see from this area to this area, there are different levels of enhancement. The next video <clears throat> I'm doing, I've got a few actually, I've been working on quite a lot of stuff. Um, I've got a very good moon one, um, new moon stuff, um, and that 
is well what more proof would you need it's as simple as that Okay, this is when it gets very busy. Okay, what I find weird as well, let's just pan out here, the way that they've put these images together with these sort of like swooping swathes of whatever. Now you can see these dark lines in here and they carry on through to another swathe and there's lines which run through here as well and I think that and we've seen it before that they use um, features in the images and incorporate them into the way that they've made the map up and this is why I was saying it's always really important to look at um, join lines, um, grids, um, the edges of things um, and it makes sense in this respect here how they've built the map around some of these features so let's go and have a look in here anyway like I say pause it check it out I'll do some different um, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, zoom percentages. So we can go and look in here. So as you can see, it's the whole thing. So it's not one big anomaly. Um, to be a bit complete false representation of uh, you know what we're supposed to be looking at so we can see these raised areas they go over the top of stuff Now these dark areas, this might take you a while to understand what we're looking at. But I believe these might be, um, and we've seen this stuff before, uh, where they completely black stuff out. I believe these might be um, entrances to the reason I say that, this area here, if you look at it, I don't know how you're going to be, what you're looking at this on and how you're going to be able to see it. But to me, up to this point here and where these, shall we, we'll call them openings are, goes back, opening, back, opening, back up here. this area here looks slightly raised up to me than this linear sort of construction there
You can see these dark lines. You can see where some areas it jumps over. But it is attached to the other side, you can see it right here. When I'm on my computer now, <clears throat> this level for me is, I can see it as clear as day. If I just go through here and do this, this might make it pop for you. You'll have to let me know. I did look at some of the L old videos which I've mentioned before and it was like oh god I can't really see anything and I wasn't getting close enough into the the images which is a bugger because you know I want to I want people to see this stuff so you can see this area here it looks as though it drops this is the, the shadow underneath and these are the structures in this lower area. This one's weird, it's almost, it's quite rounded and stuff. This structure here, what's that? Like I say, this is not really finished but I just wanted to get it out to you um, but you can see this structure here but you can see the different heights with the shadowing and how other Got that. this is the thing with doing the enhancements like this is that I, on some of the maps you can find some really quite minute detail hidden in the image but it's one of those things you get used to it I've been looking at these things for a fair few years now and I still struggle when I do these videos and I just think no one's going to be able to see anything. See that? So there's a platform area here with some sort of spire on it. You can see another square area behind it goes up. It's a small opening or a shadow there. Goes back again. This is elevated over that. Now with a lot of the stuff I do, um, rather than just picking out a small piece, um, 
I just can't stop myself and I have to get as much information out of the image as possible and what that does in a lot of cases is bring information that's in the shadows at a lower level um, it makes them once they're enhanced it pulls them out of the lower levels and sort of flattens the whole image out of sorts um, which can make it very very confusing but I can't help um, I need to see how much information is in the image and this is why it takes so long to do you can see the image is much lower quality through this area here This has had very little done to it. Check this out here. Okay, I'll do some work on it so it makes more sense. So if you're new and you're still here, this is not a um, paintbrush. If I was using a paintbrush, it would be like that. And that's the size of the thing that I'm using. It's a dodge tool. And it's simply, you can just push and pull shadows, mid-tones and uh, highlights and you would be right in saying that well how do you know when to stop or start or whatever I, mean, I, I don't know really I just try and get it to a stage where I'm hoping you can see what I'm finding Yeah, on the next bit I'm going to do as well, it's just going to be <laughs> um, I've said it many a time, it's just they are taking the piss out of us and people believe what they're looking at I'm just going to show you a few examples of like why don't they simply move this slider and present the image like that You're going to like that one. And now I've decided I'm going to start sending links to appropriate people and stuff like that. So saying that, please share the video to anyone who you think might benefit from this. Or who needs to know. I think if you go on to... I'm not even sure how you do it. This is the bit I was going to show you, but there should be, I don't know, you can copy the 
however you do it. I'm a bit stupid when it comes to stuff like that. But you copy the link for the video and just send it to someone and hopefully they'll have a look. Anyway. So familiar the way these things join up and meet each other. So the further down we get, the more angle we get into uh, more of a bird's eye view. If you can see, we're looking much more bird's eye-ish view here. If I reduce the size of the tool, you can get into much smaller areas. If I was trying to enhance just like the whole image with contrast, brightness, light, um, dark and light type sort of thing, you wouldn't find stuff like that. You probably can't see that. So let's see this here. Right. information is that you can imagine how long it would take me to do this crop like this yeah you can see the pixelation of the image of my app I can't really work that two gig is max for me and the computer just struggles can you see that there it's like a square across in it and it's very small details here that's crazy look at this oh god see what i would have to do which i will do at a later date is just crop a tiny little area of here and blow it up massively and do this type of enhancement on it
Okay. Look. Okay, not too much work done here. Let's just go into the bottom of there. You can see the details coming through. Crazy. Keep spotting stuff all the time. Zip over here. There's a few bits that I've done in here, not all of it. That just looks like a big splodge to me on my screen. This is very strange. this dark area. Something in there. So I can't remember, but in relation to sort of what the uh, geography, geology of Titan is, you know, surface-wise, I don't really, I can't remember. But I'm sure, and it never is, described as the reason why the surface looks like uh, it's constructed of geometric forms with tops and sides and shadows um, <laughs> just isn't okay I think we're getting there Okay, 
this. structure within structure here shadow area which means this is elevated around there there's another round one here see the flow, the layout of the structures and how they meet and how they join and I've God knows how many times I've said that but it seems to be um, the familiar way of the way these things are built You see this line running through here? It's part of the surface. You see? It might take you a while, but just go over it and I hope I'm giving you enough zoom levels for it to make sense on whatever device you're using. But remember, you're not supposed to see this stuff. So then there's no way they're going to make it easy for you to um, view it. I know in a lot of these images, you do, if you looked at it, you, you wouldn't see anything. I haven't done much to this. What we'll do, before I finish, we'll go to somewhere where we haven't been. Let's just have a look here. Can you see this? set shadow and then this is above it or next to it casting shadows
just nuts. another area that needs work and we can start seeing the stuff coming through let's chuck some shadows in there quick See the tiny little lines which I've made. So you have to be really careful where you start and finish your. Make sure it's all solid when you go down. Obviously, it can. Not that you can notice that. <laughs> what do you think it is? stuff everywhere. And then we're back up into this corner again. Quickly. Um, this was one of these lines that bleached out on top of it. To, um, exactly what I think it's probably yeah, best if you go and have a look I uh, find the viewers head and, uh, and these have been locked out deliberately it's crazy look at that there I still can't see what I'm looking at and just give it time oh look great minds eh yeah. okay Let's. So, I hope that's enough for you. I hope it made sense. Let's check that out. Look. You can see the layers. You can see the design in the construction. Don't forget, I get the first person view of this and I'm pretty much viewing this 
in the optimum uh, levels for me to see with this so I don't know if it's working with you guys or not properly look at this it runs into this area here oh wrong way see that angle there elevate it's built on top of these sections here To me, I mean, this is all so obvious. And it's simple. You can do this yourself. All the instructions are on the, uh, the channel. There are tutorials. If you want to know and give yourself a million more questions, um, then go for it. Everything I show in all the videos, that is the information in the photographs. It's simply been masked. It's under the mask. Check it. Okay, I think I've covered everything. Well, I probably haven't at all. There's literally hundreds of things in here. And what did we do? We did a quarter of the map. Oh, and I think it was this one. But it doesn't matter. It's my favourite anyway. Okay, guys, let me know what you're seeing. I can't help it. There is that detail we worked on. See it? That's what's achievable. Okay, nice one guys, see you soon, not sure which one is coming up next, um, I've got a few on the go, can't even remember them all, but um, it's, uh, it's blatant, so I will see you soon guys, take it easy and uh, thanks for watching, bye.